This one is called uh, This is Official English Dub by Crunchyroll for Alia, and it's wild. Or should we say it's for Yuki, and it's wild. Step bro, what are you doing? I can't believe that this is an official English dub licensed by Crunchyroll. And Ooh. before we go any further, just, just listen to how unhinged this is, yeah. and then we'll talk about it. All right. Pull me out. What? <laughs> Looking like I'm stuck down here. Don't make me say the step bro meme. Don't make me say the step bro meme. Now, she didn't say, pull me out, step bro, I'm stuck, but she directly referred to it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I want to reinstate the fact that this is licensed by Crunchyroll. This isn't a. Yes. And because it was licensed by Crunchyroll, Yuki's voice actor could not say, help me, step bro, I'm stuck. Instead, she had to go around it and say, don't make me refer to the step bro meme. Official English dub by Crunchyroll. They straight up, they made this, they made this dub. They yeah. got the voice actors together to say these lines. They wrote the script and everything. Yeah. It is honestly just so hilarious to me. Because it's like, with all of the L's and all the negativity, that's... Yeah, for sure, right? Crunchyroll has been taking a lot of L's recently, removing features such as the comment section, pulling different enemy. Yeah, we know all the price increases. But if you think about from a company's perspective, at the end of the day, it's those decisions were a data-driven decision based off of potential liabilities with different sponsorships and advertisement. At the end of the day, everything has to do with money, profit, bottom line. And for them to lean into such a funny reference to the Step Bro meme, it is in their best interest to not directly state it, but skirt around it, refer to it play into the popular meme culture. More people are going to click on it, more money is going to be made. It is, at the end of the day, data-driven decisions to maximize money. Surrounds Crunchyroll with all the just the constant L's they take to either bad translations, no translations, AI translations, no AI translations, to agenda pushing, you get the point. Yep. Basically, somehow, all the stars in the cosmos aligned to create this existence of Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian, the English dub, and it is perfect, man. Like, this is... It's great. The VAs, especially the sister character, understood the assignment, understood mm -hmm. how unhinged her character is, how she... Yeah, I mean, we saw, right, in episode two, Yuki's English voice actor popped off. Everyone loved it. Of course they're going to play onto this memes, right? There is a certain level of expectations now. You've done it once. People are expecting you to do this shit again. You can't just lean in and say, Ohio Oni-chan, hello my Oni-chan, right? You get in a stiffy, like, of course. She knows the expectations. She needs to meet the expectations, and she's doing it in a masterful way. She is aware of the fourth wall, how she thinks she's in a visual novel, how she is a huge nerd and anime and manga fan. The voice actor 100% understood what yep. type of character this was and brought her to life in to English-speaking countries. I hope she gets different roles. I mean, then what? Do you get typecasted into just specific degenerate funny lines, like roles like this? I don't know, but regardless, it's good for her career to, you know, solidify uh, a moment like this into her resume and then move on. It is just such a magical experience, man. This is legitimately a good English dub. This is one of those yeah. examples of a very rare Crunchyroll W. I don't congratulate Crunchyroll a lot, but I will give them a W when they deserve it. And this is... Yeah, like, give credit where it's due, but at the end of the day, those decisions at the end of the day, right? A dub or an L, it doesn't matter. Crunchyroll is simply doing things that's gonna think, like, that's going to make them more money, right? All those Ls in the past, they thought it was gonna make them more money. This, too, they think it's gonna make their money. It's not like they have this different moral position. It's just the dub and the L is simply a random byproduct of them chasing money. This is one of those examples where... It is. It is uncensored, unfiltered, even more unhinged than the original Japanese version. And there is some differences, which I'll get into. There's some, like, localization type stuff. But overall, it is a fantastic English dub that, honestly, I'm just genuinely impressed with. Like, 
it's not just the VA obviously voicing this character, like the sister character, the other characters, but it's also whoever was in charge of writing the English script, whoever was in charge of picking the voice actor for each individual role, whoever was in charge of all like the of whole this, team. they need to keep doing so because this is just straight up high quality work and what I would want from an English dub. Like if I was to watch an English dub and not watch the Japanese version, this is what I would want because this is keeping true to the narrative and the theme and the vibe you get from the original, mm -hmm. but it's in English. And I You know what the funniest thing is? What she be saying is absolute facts. But realize, if you take a step back, we're getting so excited because this English dub of an anime is making incest jokes. And now this is supposed to be like the pinnacle of anime faithful adaptation into different voice acting and I don't know. It, it, there's something hilarious about this degeneracy that we're watching. And acknowledging like this is the way it's supposed to be done. I think that, you know, that is the best way to handle an English dub. So let's get into some of the changes first, okay? Let's talk about that and like, you know, how there is some localization that has happened, but it's actually on the positive side of things instead of the typical or the usual agenda-pushing nature. So one thing in particular with this show is that the sister character, she says brother in the mm. Japanese version. She always says that. Oni like, she'll chan. say brother in English. Oni and chan. it comes off very different, and obviously it's for comedic effect by the way she says it in the Japanese version of the anime. Yeah, but like she's also like an otaku. She talks about like different, you know, cutscenes of typical tropes of incest memes. So saying Oni chan in the English stuff, I think is genius. So in the English version, obviously to have that same weight, that impact with the gag, the joke of the sister saying brother, she couldn't say brother in English. She needs. I mean, she could have said my brother, <laughs> like Aoi, to Toto Aoi from Jujutsu Kaisen. Hey. Anonymous Gifter is back again. Thank you for the five gifted, man. Very generous of you. Thank you so much. She needs to say it in the opposite. Onicha. She needs to say it in Japanese. What did you say? Onicha. She needs... One more time. Opposite. Onicha. She needs... I feel like that's like... Saying Sasuke instead of saying Sasuke needs to say it in Japanese. Yeah. And I think that is where the magic comes Like, Onich, Oni, Oni, anyways. Just to play here, is that obviously this is definitely a difference from the script technically, because obviously yeah. it is said in English yep. and the Japanese. But if we were to factor in, if this character was in fact an English speaker, she probably would say Onichan instead of brother because she- What? Wait, this one was a different one too. Hold up, he just switched up the pronunciation again. We would say Onichan instead of- I'm confused. There's like two different- It just keeps changing. Her brother, because she is a big nerd. She reads manga, she watches anime, she plays yep. games, Otaku. she plays visual novels. So obviously she would say Onichan instead of brother. Mm. So this is that- <laughs> Onichan. <laughs> Onichan. Rare example where a local- I don't think the pronunciation is a problem. I'm just having some funs. Localization makes sense. This is what you should do to adapt a joke in a different language. Yes. Obviously, that's what they had to do. They had to change some things to make the joke fit. Absolutely right. The localization team did a fantastic job translating the Japanese memes of incest and bring it over to an English dub and saying Oni-chan, right? Instead of saying, hello, my brother. <laughs> Wouldn't that be kind of funny, though? My brother, like, like, Todo Aoi, you know, like Jujutsu Kaisen. Imagine Yuki says that, my brother, <laughs> it would be hilarious. Proper, and I think that there is a lot of skill and a lot of effort behind the scenes to be able to do something like that, because- It's good, it's so funny, a lot of skill, a lot of effort to have the presence of mind to say Onichan instead of saying brother in an English dub to suit the fucking incest jokes of Japanese anime culture. There's just something so hilarious about like glazing, even though it's true, it's just like, 
we have our best minds of the nation working in this adaptation to bring forth the Winces jokes that is localized perfectly. When it comes to jokes, when it comes to certain line delivery and you transfer uh, it to a different language, the line delivery in the jokes might fall flat. They <laughs> might not come off the same way or be that funny because obviously just different languages have certain ways of telling jokes. But obviously whoever designed this script and it's not just the va's job the team. to voice the script but obviously whoever well. wrote the script out they truly understood the jokes and comedy and they wanted to deliver them in english in the best of their abilities and obviously there was a lot of effort and a lot of i guess faith put into the voice acting cast to be able to deliver this and obviously the reaction to this dub there's a Chibi, lot of people where did you reacting go? to this i posted this literally an hour ago and you can already see so many people reacting to this and all that and finding out for the first Oh shit! It's Otaku Spirit, bro! Yo, should I get on my Twitter game? My Twitter game is actually so trash because I don't use it all at all except to like talk to like YouTube support. I'm wondering like, because there's got to be more content we could farm by also rage baiting on Twitter, like on YouTube, right? There, there's, there's so much potential to farm more content on Twitter as well, but I'll think about it. I'll think about it if I'll get more active there. First time about this dub and not even realizing there was either an Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian dub or just, you know, this is the first time they've heard episode five's dub. And it really comes off just unfiltered. Like, listen to this clip. You love talking. I know you are, but what am I? With that being said, fan service time. Ooh. Fan service time. Ooh. What the hell are you even looking at? Us. The fucking camera. Who else? Gotta flash the camera, dumbass. At least my ass is covered. Well. <laughs> At least my ass is covered. Because, like, yeah, her... I mean, she's got the bathrobe on, but I guess she's fucking flashing it right now at that moment. Now, I will say that there is a lot of people that will be quick to, like, write off an English dub. Because, obviously, most people will just watch the Japanese version. Yeah, and... Listen. Just because the English dub is good. Like, like, sorry. Just, like... I'm trying to say... Yes, English dub is good, but I think the Japanese dub is great, right? Like, I'm not gonna settle for a fucking 8 if I know a 9 exists. For sure the dub is good, I recognize it, but I still prefer the Japanese voice acting with the emotions that fits this medium created from their own culture. And they won't ever think twice about another language version of a show. But I will say that Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. It's just, it's such a good dub to where like i said all the stars aligned to make this the best it possibly could like the, and the whole team that's working on this truly does love anime you can feel their passion at least in the way the dub is delivered and i appreciate Let's that i can definitely Kobo tell that they're anime fans team. and they're not just doing it for money but they're doing it because they love what they do and i think that that definitely should be acknowledged and a lot of praise should be given to the vas for that in the first place and once again this this clip here man so on him such an unhinged clip dude like being yeah i get it i get it where the fan service and stuff it just yeah uh, i love the show it's a good show so it's a good show it's a great wrap show it up there to make a long story short watch alia sometimes hides her feelings in dub if you haven't already i know if you've already watched in japanese you might not want to rewatch it but do yourself a favor watch it see because I'm a reactor and I'm fucking farming, not only do I watch the Japanese, I also then double dip onto specific Yuki or Masha moments sometimes where the English dub is great and I double dip into that too. Dub, you might enjoy it, you might not, who knows, but it could be something that could tickle your interest. It might make you actually appreciate dubs a little bit more by the way. And it might make you into an incest enjoyer. The way jokes and stuff are delivered in shows that don't obviously care to deliver the jokes in a proper way to shows that actually do care. And this is a good example of that. So uh, be safe, stay healthy, love you. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Rochtere dub is fantastic. We have checked out multiple videos of it. Of course, I'm going to watch the Japanese first and foremost, but I'll go check out the dub too for the funny moments. Go check out the video. Sub to Chibi's channel if you haven't. I'll see you all next time.